Welcome to another Women Lead TV show where I'm Michelle Berquist, your host today, and this is one of many of our Women Lead TV shows, and I am delighted because we are just coming past Veterans Day, and with me today is Patricia Jackson Kelly. She is a retired lieutenant colonel in the Army, and I'm like, wow, but retired is not part of her vocabulary. So I just want to say, Patricia, say hello to all of our, all of our audience. Hi, it's <laughs> great being with you today. Well, thank you for your service, and I know you are so not retired from just talking to you originally, right before we started the show. Give us a little overview of all the things you're involved in, because you're a board member, it's like you're involved in other organizations. Give us a little rundown about you, because you're so not retired. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm also a commissioner for the County of Los Angeles for Military and Veterans Affairs for the 2nd District, uh, supervising the 2nd District. I'm the Department of California. California Women's Veteran Coordinator, Outreach, uh, Outreach Coordinator. I'm also the National Association of Black Military Women Vice President and also the um, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're having, a, we're having a photo shoot here, and it's like, it's tweaking it's wigging me out, too. Yeah. I'm like, let's stop the nonsense, man. Let's okay. come back to that. And okay. You're going through your list. Okay. I don't want to make you nervous. Okay. <laughs> and I, I sit on the board for another organization as well, um, the um, Mindful Women Warriors Project. Um, and that's different than the foundation. Yes. These are all, wow. I yeah. mean, I'm going to ask you, it's like, when did you retire from the Army? in 2003 but I not only served in the Army I served in the Air Force wow. Reserves and the, the Air Force active duty the Air Force Reserves and the Navy Reserves girl yeah. okay so I'm, I'm dying to know <laughs> what what led you to the military um, I guess it was the idea that I had recently separated from my first husband and I needed to do something different. I wanted to leave New York. And at that time- Is that where you're from? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, the financial uh, area of my life did not permit me to do so. Okay. So I started out applying for the reserves. And the recruiter in the Air Force at, told me, he said, why don't you go on active duty? Why did you go on the reserves? Mm -hmm. He said, they need you, you're a nurse and you could go in as an officer. So I thought this is an wow. opportunity for me to really embellish my life. Right. So I signed up and I got Travis Air Force Base. And where's that? At, in California Ooh. as my first assignment. And I always like wanted me? to, no, I always <laughs> wanted to come to California. <laughs> so I go. say, well, this is it. Right. Here I am. <laughs> and I'm dying to know, Patricia, what, I mean, I know the military is so different now. When you got involved in the military, how different was it for women than what it is now? I'm curious because you see probably the whole spectrum here yeah. of what it was like and how it's changed, or has it, you know, from your perspective? Um, you know, it hasn't really changed that much. Uh, unfortunately, the progress that was made is very minimal mm -hmm. and it's sad to say because uh, still women are considered less than mm -hmm. and that has not changed. Uh, that was that. so when I was on active duty um, I ran into um, I think most of the areas that were covered during that time were not necessarily about being women. Mm -hmm. It was about, um, I guess, um, what, sad to say, there were some race issues. Um, there were, um, I guess, I was a nurse. And unfortunately, women have a tendency to not really stick together yeah. as we should mm -hmm. and and that's the sad part about it and that's still today yes it's like, stop that Absolutely. ladies yeah we should be right you know I'm, I'm curious for you opting out of the military it's like you know jody our, our common friend right. um, from the foundation for women warriors jody has shared with me that it was such a difficult transition to be in the military and then transition out to the civilian world because you're strong you're direct and it's like it was a really tough transition what was your transition like and did you find the same thing in migrating into to us crazy civilian people in our <laughs> world. Absolutely. And the reason being is I, I'm a nurse. So I immediately thought, well, it won't be any problem with me getting a job right. when I get out. So I applied for several places to get employment. And I was waiting because the military, you have to wait for them to process your 
information mm -hmm. and the military did not rush with anything <laughs> so that. I'm waiting I waited at least three months for them mm -hmm. to finally get my information in the meantime I'm living on my savings and I had a young son so I ended up having to live with uh, friends who were kind enough to allow me to live in their homes so basically when I look back on the situation I was really homeless when they consider what it is today. So I think that's why I have so com much compassion uh, for these people that are homeless today because I say, I've been there. You know. You know, and I know what you're going through. Well, and I'm curious, what, you know, with all that you're involved in, it's like, what are you hoping to see change and, and have the needle move in a different way? Is it specifically for women or veterans in general it's for you? It's for people. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I just wish that we, as a society could see people as people mm -hmm. doesn't matter your race your gender your ethnic background whatever it is your size <laughs> yeah absolutely i'll throw that you, in you know there. yeah absolutely yeah. just we are human beings and we all bleed alike you know we all we should be really talking more about peace mm -hmm. rather than war you know we need to come together and realize that if collectively we talk about peace and we embrace that that is what will happen mm -hmm. rather than this the society that we are living in today is so so volatile it is so oppositional we need to change that and we can if we collectively think differently I love it. And I, I'm curious from you, because you, with all the involvement you have with women veterans organizations, what would be some tips you would give? Let's say we have an audience of, of women who are transitioning out, or more specifically, I guess this is my big question, what can we in the business community do to be more supportive of veterans? You know, I mean, I know there's such initiatives to help them be, be hired. It's like there's initiatives. Are these working? And are there any tips you can share with us in the business community to I be more supportive. Yes, I think that we are, it is working. And I mm -hmm. think that one of the things that we need to do is be more aggressive in the community. You know, we need to be more out there and in their face. Because women have a tendency to resort back to, uh, well, I, I don't want to be bothered because I, I had this bad experience. But we have to let them know we are there for you, even though you had a bad experience. We are willing to put that behind you and we can move forward. I love it. What else can we do? Any final words for us? You are amazing. You're, I mean, your passion comes through, and I want us to be supportive of well, you. And maybe there's a couple of final words you can say to us. Let's change the world, Patricia. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Thank you. And I think that what you're doing is really great, and I really appreciate it. I think that we need to recognize women more. Mm -hmm. We need to make them know that you have a power, and you need to embrace that power. And I think your organization does a good job of that. Well, I didn't know yeah. you were going to go there, but I'm like, I'm going to hug them now. I'm going to go. That is, that is another Women Lead TV show, and I want to say thank you for being our leading lady today, Patricia. And to all of our audience, if there's any way you can support a veteran, please do. And we'll be back again for another Women Lead TV show.